gotta keep going. You gonna go? Freak yes, Luna. Let's go. It's Sparta time, people. And we freaking mean it this time. Really long stairs. Seems like a mine almost. Down the ladder. Down another ladder. Down yet another ladder. Oh, what's this? This doorknob seems familiar. Whoops. You accidentally dropped it. Well, it's not like it was important anyway. That actually is John's doorknob. How it got all the way over here is beyond me. Anywho, this is probably the most unique thing in the game. A hot spring in a box. We can just come back and keep checking the hot spring. Alright. Reminds me of the final area of Earthbound. And now we get some enemies. The first, the beginning of the end of enemies is the phenomenon. They have thunder. Discharge electricity. Interesting fact, this is the easier version of the uh, Lingering Spirit song. Ironically, it's they only it's only used for two enemies, the Phenomeno and the uh, Fireflies from Chapter 1.
probably piece that together at Chubby Chubby Boy. Because you were mixed, let's look at it. You got mixed up for him on the highway. He knows PK Love. His attack riff at Chubby Chubby Boy is the same as one of his attack sounds from when you fight with him in the beginning of the game. It's that silly mole for you. Alright, right here is where I use my sincerity dumplings. It's not where I even had them. And you uh, still have that ancient banana, but I don't really care at this point. Real bad, screw you. I worked an hour to get that mystical stick. All the real bat does is boost your offense by 10 and PP by 10 from the uh, mystical stick, and everything else goes down. So, honestly, not worth it. Anywho, this is where we really get dramatic. Stop, stop, stop right there. Holy Jesus Christ almighty on a freaking skateboard. <coughs> this really is no time for games anymore. I don't feel like letting you go any further. If you have to kneel, then don't worry. My adorable little monster is on its way to it as we speak. Huh? That monster's name is Dave? Its name was Dave? That almost sounds like a person's name, but now it's my robot. I have a fragment of life remains inside it. It's Master Porky's slave robot. It does whatever I say. It acts on my will alone. It's my double. It doesn't know anything about who you are. <coughs> well, guys, this is Porky. And you know how I typically don't go all out on bosses? F. I'm just gonna nuke the crap out of this guy because he deserves it. He deserves to die a slow, painful death. Nuke him. Go, go, go. He has a PSI counter when you first encounter him, by the way. But it doesn't affect thunder and it doesn't affect ground. But if you're not if you're not gonna use ground, which you really should. Um, use PK Freeze, because that actually works stronger than a Thunder, it's just the countering, no one ever tries it out. And that was annoying, so I'm gonna be using Healing Omega to get that off. You go back to using Ground, you can do whatever the frick you feel like. See how much an Ancient Banana does? Probably nothing at all, because it's a freaking Ancient Banana, and barely did anything but pork tank. 122! Slip violently, 53. Come on, fall over, you dude. Fall over and get a concussion. Okay, no more tears. Use a PSI counter device. Doesn't matter, because you already have it. What did Porky do? Threw a bomb at by the way, this music's freaking awesome. Let me fill you in on something. No matter how much you attack me, I'll never die. If I somehow wind up beaten, I'll never die. But you didn't know that, did you? Well, we're at a disadvantage now. But, we're gonna do whatever it takes to knock him out of his freaking I am the king of the freaking universe. Ideal. I might be a thousand years old, or even ten thousand years old. But despite 
that I'm still the same kid at heart. Is that funny? It is, isn't it? Does it make you laugh? <coughs> Are you laughing at me? I wasn't laughing at all, frickin'. Get your head out of your own ass. Do you have a smaller? Oh, yes, you do. Do you have anything? Is Dr. Abel would say, How about no? You crazy Dutch bastard. This fight is tough. Not gonna lie. If you are not prepared for this fight, hey, you're freaking stupid, and I don't know how you got past the AK cyborg. And B, you will die.
As evil as old Porky here is, I feel bad for him now. Oh, do you? Do you really? Did you really want to die? My reference Pennywise way too much. It's true that the absolutely safe capsule that Mr. Saturns and I, Grammar Wynn, developed together can protect one from every manner of danger. It is an absolutely safe capsule. Once you enter it, you can never exit. Even what's outside of the absolutely safe capsule is absolutely safe. I did tell Porky in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet. But now all he can do is live for eternity inside the capsule in absolute safety. Who knows, in a way, he may have gotten exactly what he wanted. What do you think? Is it wrong of me to think this way? No, he deserves it. It's not wrong, you say? I wonder. Somehow I get the feeling it is. One last bit of humor for this game. Rolly, rolly, rolly. This is still hilarious. Hey, rolly, rolly. Okay, enough playing around. We have to stop Dave. As we continue to run through this torture chamber. I would like to know how exactly this happens. Alright, in the next part, we will stop Dave, or we'll try to.